So, in today's video, we're gonna talk all about data. So what there was a young lady from Venus. Let's say you wanted an array of names for characters. Well, there's a good chance at the moment, you're probably doing it something like this. Well, what if I told you there was a better way? So let's ask ourselves first why this approach, not really ideal. Well, for starters, it's very time consuming. Let's be honest, editing each entry in that array, absolute pain in the ass. Next, whoever's doing the editing, they have to use Unity. You can't have a non-Unity person fill in the details for those names. You need to install Unity, Unity? just to edit that array. <laughs> So how can we fix this? Well, that's easy. Text files. If we instead store our data in just plain text files, they're easy to understand, easy to share, and you don't need special tools to edit them. In fact, actually, did you know that Unity has direct support for text files? We can add something called a text asset. It's going to show up in the inspector and let us drag text files into it. Next, we want to respond to changes to that asset. So to do that, we'll create an onValidate function. Any code we write in here will get called whenever the editor values change. What we want to do is, whenever a new file is dropped in, we'll split it into lines, and then assign each of those lines into the array. And if the file is null, we'll just clear out the array. Using an online name generator, I made a number of text files that are just lists of names. Now, whenever I drag one of those files into our script, Unity will automatically pick it up, read its contents, populate the array. It makes it super easy to send text to a designer, have them change values, and then just swap out the file. If we want to have multiple sets of data or go back to previous versions, it's as easy as picking a different text file. So you might be thinking, yeah, that's all good and well if it's a list of strings. But what about more complicated data, like a list of items or weapons with multiple values to them? Okay, that's a fair point, but uh, let's give it a try. Let's make ourselves an item class. We'll have a string for a name, int for a price, and we'll, we'll add a color, why not? We can't possibly store that in a text file, right? Well, actually it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. Wow, wow, wow. Whenever we read in the lines, we just do one extra step and split them by the commas, parsing out the values. Now, just to be clear, I am aware this is not currently super robust. In a real project, I'd be validating the input fields, but validation is a whole other topic that deserves its own video. We now have lists of things loaded in from files. What next? Well, it's out of scope for this video, custom editor scripts. Those ones will read any files that you've labeled and generate buttons for them. That way your custom editor will automatically show you a list of all options available and populate the array with the click of a button. So, our new text loading system is pretty useful, but there's one remaining hassle with this approach. In order for a designer to edit this, you still have to take the text file out of Unity, send it to them, and then replace it back when they give it back to you. It's not a big deal, but we would like to avoid doing this. If you watch my previous video on loading manifest files from the web, that should give you an idea about how you could change this up to have the text file stored online. You could put them up in somewhere like GitHub, Pastebin, or Google Sheets. And with that, we're done for this one. If you found that informative, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see me cover the editor extension stuff in more detail, drop a comment down below. If you want, you can also donate to the coffee and get access to the Discord. Okay, good luck. See you on the next one.